Yo. <laughs> Yo, we are Pack Street Collectibles. Where we're not busy building a business. We like to kick back, relax, unwind, and just talk with our friends. This is the break room. And I'm not wearing sunglasses. Actually, I pointed that out this morning, so. Okay. She always got something to say, <laughs> bro. All right. I couldn't find them. Yeah, lucky. So on today's episode of The Break Room, we are playing a game of To Be Listed. We're back with Season 2, bitch. Uh, this episode is obviously, not obviously, but obviously, if you look at my two guests here, co-hosts, the Christmas special, <laughs> which I was not informed. Kevin went out and bought Christmas hats for him and Brianna and left me out of it on today's episode. Of but two- if you're kind of like running the ideas here, you would think that you would have put some thought into uh, you could have had Christmas lights. You could have had decorations. It's not our fault that you were an ambitious, you know. I think we need to talk to HR about yeah, this yeah, one. I think we're gonna. We'll have a talk I about that. I was on your Bashing side. Bashing the company on, on company time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, It's yeah. like taking a shit while you're working. But yeah. I live here. When else? But am you're I shitting on it? us. <laughs> yeah, right. You got that one. Yeah, come on. I mean, bitch, please. <laughs> <laughs> on today's episode of To Be Listed, we are listing top five best Christmas movies. Why are you talking like Trump? It, it was wonderful and great. And, uh, that is know, a just, terrible impression. <laughs> just it was keep great, going. Wonderful, just wonderful. go. All right, on say? today's episode, we're listening to top best, five best uh, Christmas movies. Um, What warrants a Christmas movie is any movie that takes place during Christmas. So, to kick it off, I don't know why I'm doing this today. I'm feeling spicy. <laughs> it must be that Starbucks water I drink. Um, to kick it off, we have Brianna. Uh, with her number five. All right. So initially, I really thought. Oh, I, I looked in the camera. I'm not supposed to do that. No, you are. You can look in the camera. You can oh. look wherever you want. This okay. ain't a fucking sitcom. <laughs> this is not Jersey Shore. No, All yeah, right. You can do whatever you anyway. Want. Yo, my name is Paulie D. You can never. Oh, <laughs> damn. Oh, um, <laughs> uh, yeah. So anyway, I thought. I'm more L- like a Ronnie, right? You're a hundred percent a Ronnie because you're dumb as fuck. <laughs> yeah, you'd be a Ronnie. You'd be a Ronnie. <laughs> <laughs> Just all bronze, no brain, you know. You Angelina. Everybody hate that. <laughs> <laughs> my number five is something I thought was gonna be higher on my list, but it ended up making it just there at the bottom. Elf. So Elf is like a really good movie. It's funny. It's sad. A lot of quotables, but you know. Um, yeah, it's just a really good Christmas movie. It gets you in the spirit. And it also makes you think that maybe Santa could be real. Because you're going into a world, right, mm-hmm. where no one believes in Santa. But it's all depending on the size of the cheer. I want to see my Jersey Turnpike. <laughs> Whoa. Yo, Whoa. I, hope, I hope the mic caught your knee crack. <laughs> Yo. Number five for me is Jack Frost. I know... It's weird, but I watch that movie a lot. Not the cartoon one, the one with uh, we know. It's like um, Michael Keaton. Oh, okay. No, I didn't know you were talking about that. But no, I think uh, Jack Frost. It just gives me like scary memories. I feel yeah, like. yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel a like scary I was like, I was, yeah, I was like scared of him. Yeah, I don't know. I watch that movie a lot. Jack Frost. Okay. You got anything else to say about it? Nah, I just watched it a lot. So like, you know. Kind of go for memories. Yo, he's Ronnie for sure. He's Ronnie. Go ahead. Okay. I'll take over with my number five, which is an amazing Christmas movie. Almost almost perfect, this movie. Jingle All the Way, starring Arnold Schwarzenegger. Give me Christmas now! (laughs) That's not the quote. Okay, anyway, so it's like a movie that when I think about it, I think about being a kid sitting down. Like you remember where you were watching it. Fucking Turbo Man doll. Arnold Schwarzenegger is a bad father and he's buying this toy for so his you son can relate because. To the are you son? saying that I'm a. Are you saying that I had a bad father? No, I guess you didn't have. You didn't have a good father. <laughs> <laughs> That's even better! That's even better! <laughs> Yo, cut it out! <laughs> 
Yo, so he's trying to buy this toy for his son to get his son to, like, you know, love him again because he's a bad dad. And, um, it's just funny. It's like an overly dramatic movie about a right. toy being sold out. All right, we get it. Bro, no, 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 no. We ain't spending Number two four. seconds on movies because all you say is, I watched I this watched movie. I watched it a lot. <laughs> a lot, a lot. I watched the movie. Good. Five. I don't know. I just watched it a lot. <laughs> Uh, number four is Santa Claus is Coming to Town, the stop motion one, uh, because of the Winter Warlock. If it, if you know the movie, then you know that what song. That? That's a, so you know all the stop motion ones, right? The old puppets from the seventies. Yes, yeah. I love those movies. So this they, it was gonna be on my list, but I didn't know if like you guys you would get it. Love but those yeah, movies. I fucking didn't know if we would get it. What the fuck? Bro, no, you're right though. Movies. Whatever. I'll try. Yeah, to so, you, I'll try to give you props. So you're being fucking a dickhole. Yeah, so. <laughs> So anyway, that one song well, is what makes song? the whole thing. You like can actually cold? Google. S- <laughs> he got you. <laughs> You're being fucking medical. <laughs> I'll wait. <laughs> anyway, right, that on. one song where they get the winter warlock and they're trying to like, you know, get through it. And then they teach him how to walk because the whole thing turns out he just didn't know how to walk. That's why he was so grumpy. That's why they were in the a blizzard. Fuck? Yeah, so they're just like, put one foot in front of Don't, the other. We'll get copyright. Da-da-da-da. Stop saying oh, okay. we'll get copyright. Yeah. All right, my number four is Harry Potter. Is Harry Potter Christmassy? Yeah. 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 What? Very Christmassy. Yeah. All right, as you can see, I, I watched the first one and that's it. They got snow in that. Yeah, it's like magical. You like, um, like not recently, recently, but in the past few years, you became a big Harry Potter fan. I've been a Harry Potter fan for a while since I was young. My sister, he's Captain. Okay, so you he's put capping. Ashley on. You know, I put Ashley on. Okay, okay, one hundred percent. Let's re- let's come back to oh, yeah, this. I mean, no, yeah, like I I can cross references all the way to my sister because she used to read all the books and I was the younger one. She watched all the movies. I used to watch them with her. <laughs> explanation for all the movies so far is I watched them. No, what, this what, one you, I watched what do you it want a lot. me to say? It's like, you know, it makes you feel like, you know, magical. you're magical, like Christmas Give time, me a like, really like good it. moment of the movie that made you feel that way. Okay, when they get on the train. <laughs> <laughs> it's nine and three quarters, and it's going to the, to the fucking school, the castle, and it's snowing, and they're looking out the window. That's and beautiful. fucking. But that's, that's, that's what beautiful. we needed. That's, that's what beautiful. we needed. Yo, stop cr- criticizing, bro. I'm helping. I'm helping this flow, baby. My number four. You're making me bahumbug right now. Just <laughs> my number four. <laughs> my number four is the Santa Claus with Tim Allen. Another one. This isn't. No, this is a the? coincidence that this is a bad dad, right? Isn't he another bad yeah, dad? Yeah, he is. Trying yeah. To, like, he like doesn't spend love? enough time with him. And, That's yeah. just happening. This has nothing to do with me having daddy issues. <laughs> Listen. Who's your daddy? But no, no, no. This, <laughs> you're fucking weird. I got to censor you all the time. Daddy. She's always chill. She's, <laughs> what the hell is even that? Anyway. Yo, you don't remember when he first goes to those headquarters of like, you yeah. know, when he's getting taken. Wasn't that so cool as a kid to see these little elves? I wanted to be one of them little elves. And they also weren't like super nice. They were like about business. Where he was like, hey, little whatever. Yeah, and he's yeah. like, I'm not a kid. I'm an elf. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so cool. And then when he's like shaving his beard and it keeps coming back, I love that. Lovely movie. Brings tears to your eyes because he his son loves him and sticks up for him. Brianna, number... My number three, don't even need to check, is The Grinch. Now, to be clear, The Grinch cartoon OG could also be in this spot, but I'm going to reference the Jim Carrey Grinch. Okay, so they're interchangeable, though. They are interchangeable. It depends on the mood, you know? Uh, Jim Carrey Grinch is just really, really funny. I feel like as you get older, you catch new things because when you're a kid, you don't really mm-hmm. hear the adult jokes. And yep. then as you're an adult, you're kind of like, oh, my God, that's crazy that they got away with putting that in there. Mm-hmm. But, um, yeah, it's just really, really good. Love it. My number three, and I'm going to be that guy right now. Die Hard. Oh my God! How did I know somebody was gonna put Die Hard on their list? Why? I think out of like five people I asked about Christmas movies, four of them said Die Hard. Yeah, fucking for me it was because my godfather was like one of those 
guys who like watch all those like Steven Seagal movies and like oh my god like, I just remember sitting in front of the, remember those big ass TVs yeah. with the big oh, back yeah. on they them were, and like, stuff on the floor? yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. I used to just sit there, and that's all we watched. Like, it was just that shit. Um, it's an action movie that takes place during Christmas. Yeah, during right? Christmas time. Yeah, remember his feet bleeding on the glass and stuff. That, that shit I don't remember the movie out. that much. I gotta rewatch it because I don't remember it. That, that really freaked me out all the time. My number three is The Elf with Will Ferrell. Highly quotable. Goddamn, you're you're oh you're an angry elf. Call me Elf one more time. I love that part of the movie. And then where they sing. Everybody mm-hmm. sings, and she finally sings They're trying to, to an audience because she was real nervous. Yes. I love that at the end, it's like the belief of Christmas is what's keeping that thing afloat. Yeah. That movie is beautiful, almost perfect. Not perfect, but almost perfect. My number two is a banger. All right, this is Just Friends Merry with Christmas. Ryan Reynolds. Uh. It's like oh, that. Oh wow, damn, Brianna! I didn't think of this. That's yeah. a good pick. That's so good this pick. is like Wait, you can just watch. Just to stop you right there. The new Ryan Reynolds and Will Ferrell movie is good. Oh God, that could have been a conversation after the show. Anyways, so back to what I was saying. This dog just fucking peed on me, bro. Look. Oh my God. <laughs> My dog just fucking pissed on me. <laughs> My number two is Just Friends. It's a really good Christmas movie. It is set during Christmas time, but it also does have to do with Christmas. Anyway, it's like all the way satisfying, you know, because it's a guy who's unattractive in high school, got bullied, really embarrassed, left town, became a huge success. He now was he's like coming fat. back. He was fat, and then they made him lose weight. That's what they did for unattractive. That's what the that's the message they sent to the kids. That well, no, you're saying that he was unattractive. She never said that. Because it's a guy who's unattractive in high school. It's a guy who's unattractive in high school. Yeah, he comes back and he's like seeing the girl he had a crush on in high school, and it's also like reality, like all the hot popular kids aren't really doing nothing, and he's the one who made it. Amy, Amy, uh Do they fall in love? What's her name? Sure. No, 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 no. The one who was married to Chris Pratt. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, Amy. The one who. Hey, me and my friends are trying to shoot this video here. Would you get it going? <laughs> <laughs> I hope he pees on your lap too. My number two is Elf. Because syrup on spaghetti. I love it. That looked really good when he did it. Yeah. Either that or I've always been real hungry when I was watching. That and from New York, BX, you heard me? It's set in New York, York. Christmas time. I remember as a kid going to Times Square, seeing all that, going to the big-ass Macy's. Love it. Number two for Mo? For me? (laughs) Eight Crazy Nights with Adam Sandler. Cartoon, Adam Sandler, Whitey. Yeah, we named our dog after him. Yo, this movie's great. It has banger songs in it. It's like a sing-along. Is that what it's called? Musical. Uh, musical. Musical. It's a musical Christmas movie. Oh, bro. And it touches you in your, in your heart and down in your plums. Well, not everybody. Just it's you. a plum toucher. This is his movie, guys. Adam Sandler. So my number one that. is The Muppet. Hold on. <gasps> I had way too much fucking wow. air in my throat. Yeah, The this Muppets Christmas Carol one. is my number one Christmas movie. It's been my favorite Christmas movie forever. I had to hunt down the VHS at Goodwill, and then now, thanks to streaming services, I can watch it all the time. It's perfect. It's very funny, but it's also emotional. You would think because they're puppets that you wouldn't feel that sad, but they mix the humans with the puppets, so it kind of feels like... Yeah, yeah. And also, the actor who plays the Scrooge... He does a does good not, job. He does a very good job, and he doesn't give like any type of feel that he's like talking to inanimate objects. Right, like he right. He handles the puppets like they're other actors, and it's and, just... And it's even good for Mises. <laughs> that's not what they say. But anyway, it's just really good. All the songs are bops, you know. Marley and Marley. One flake up. Two flakes up, up, 
<laughs> yeah, Ronnie. Okay, you. let's go to Kevin's Ronnie. number one. My number one is The Grinch. It's the greatest movie, Christmas movie ever made. Can we collab? Because that's my number one too, brother. Yes, yes. Yeah. And what the funniest part in that movie to me is when he's getting changed to go to get the award. Yeah, yeah. And he's walking back and forth and he looks in the mirror. He's like, that's it. I'm not going. <laughs> and that triggers me every day when I get dressed to go out and I change like a bunch of times and then I say, I'm not going. The most, I could put this on record and it's fact, the most quotable Christmas movie that there is out there. Fall rule, fall That, it's Dahu Doris. Also, when the Grinch ho- sings it though, Holiday Who Be Wanting, yeah, the Grinch. Holiday Who Be Wanting. Oh, no, 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 I no, say no, that all no, the time. No, no. Any yes. fucking quote you say, Kevin, all of a sudden says it all the time. I've... When he's in the fucking cave and he's just like, "You're an idiot." Oh no, 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 I'm an idiot. And then it says, "You're an idiot." Yeah, fucking that's hilarious. Classic right there. The one where he's messing up all the mail. Sure. Oh Jerk. yeah, blackmail. <laughs> yeah. Oh, eviction yeah. notice. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh! Yeah, that's a good. Yeah, it, yeah. The one yeah. mom is like boop, putting boop, on boop, the. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> yeah, and then she blows it. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Mary May. P- she can who blow well, me. Who, who, yes, she can. Yo, there's a. <laughs> I'll send you a link later to that, bro. <laughs> Please, anyway. any Christmas movies that we left out. I'm not gonna take any arguments. The Grinch is the number one best Christmas movie of all time. Also, follow us on our socials. It's linked down below. <laughs> no, no, let's do honorable mention. I wasn't prepared for this. Oh, well, I'll go first. So, my honorable mention is Four Christmases with um, Vince, Vince Vaughn. Home Alone. Oh, wow. That's, that's a very good from. honorable mention, bro. This one now is in New York. My number, I mean, my honorable mention is going to be, I guess, Nightmare Before Christmas. Thank you so much for watching. We put out content weekly. Subscribe. We're trying to make it to 150. Give us a shake. Merry yeah. Krika. <laughs> That's nasty. <laughs>